Um, so this video is just showing how to create a project in Fitit and then uh, import it again so that you can batch out multiple copies of it. So we're just going to create the project that um, Fitit comes with. It comes with a couple of sample ones. And this one's an underbed storage unit, which is actually from Steve Ramsey. It's a, a mere mortals project from last year, I think. Um, so basically, we're just going to create it and then uh, we'll save it as a layout file and then we'll import it in again so that we can batch out two or three of them at once. Okay, so we'll make a start and we'll just start adding the panels in. So the first one's 450 by 1050. It's going to be made from 18mm ply, but there's no need to change it. If I leave it on 6 and then I add a, a plywood sheet um, of 6mm, then it will know where to put everything. And everything in this in this particular project, everything's going to be made from the same thickness, so there's no need to change the material thickness here. I will give it a name. You don't have to give uh, your panels a name if you know what they are, but it makes it a little bit easier if you do. Uh, I just want one of these, and for the grain direction, I don't want any grain direction on this one. And that just means that uh, when Fitit goes to lay it out, it can put it on any direction on any sheet, and it doesn't have to worry about it. So you, you, your layouts work a lot better when you don't have grain direction in there. So that's 450 by 1050, 450 by 640, and this is the lid. Like that. spot 120 by 400 and we're going to add in the draw front or draw face whatever you want to call it add that one in so basically every time I put the measurements in and then click the add panel button it just goes and adds it up here um, to save a little bit of time I'm going to go through and add them all now and we'll catch up to you when I'm up to speed all right so now I've got all my panels here to create the whole project um, what I'm going to do is just go and save it. So file, save as. And it doesn't really matter where I save it. Just to make it easy, I'll just save it in this folder here. Um, and I'll call it just demo1. Um, you don't have to put an extension on it. They are just normal text files. But um, if you type in .txt, that's fine. If you just leave it like this, the system will add it in by itself. So I'm just going to call it demo1 and click save. And that's it, now it's saved. Now, what I can do with it, because I've got this here, I can go to Import Layout, and this is so that we can batch it out. So say we wanted to make three of these underbed units. We'll go to Import Layout, open it up, and there's Demo 1. So we'll just select Demo 1, say Open, and then we get a little prompt that says, how many copies would you like to import? So we've already got one here. Uh, say we wanted to make three of them, so we'll just import two more. So two, say OK. And now it's created all the panels for two more of these projects. So I've got three of them all up. So now, if we go and add in a couple of sheets of plywood, we'll just put in two. So all I did there was uh, the default measurements are already in there. So 2400 by 1200, which is basically just a full sheet of plywood. And then I added in two of them with no grain direction once again, because I just don't care which way it goes. Now to make it look a little bit nicer, I'm just going to change the label so that the labels don't show measurements. And... We'll just go and click auto sort. Now you can see straight away it's gone and laid them all out, but you've still got a few panels up here in the bin. With this particular project, I know that there is room. It, it will fit them all on in uh, two panel. Sorry. With this particular project, I know that three of these layouts will fit on two sheets of plywood. So if I just hit auto sort a few more times, there you go. It took three clicks and now it's laid out everything for me. Um, you can see there is a little bit of wasted space here, so I could keep click. Uh, sorry, I could keep hitting auto sort until this disappeared, or if I wanted to, I can just go and click and drag and put panels in there myself. What I might do, so I'll just keep clicking it. I'll be lazy. It won't always work perfectly for you, but there you go. In this case, you can see how close that is. That's you won't be able to lay that out any better yourself. So there you go, it's um, just a little short tip about how you create a layout and then can import it into your project again. Hope that helps. So hopefully that was pretty clear and simple. Um, if you've got any questions, just uh, email me, leave a comment below, go to my website and you know you can leave comments on the pages and things like that. Um, and I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who's actually bought Fitit. Um, if you're interested, it's on my website. It's $19 Australian, which is about 14 or 15 American or 10 pound. Um, and all the feedback I've had so far is that it's been worth it. Um, there is people have been reporting bugs and glitches, not glitches, um, suggestions and critiques and things like that. That's fine. Keep them coming. 
um, and I'll, when I roll out a new version, hopefully I'll put those fixes in there for you. Um, that's about it for today, guys. Have a good one.